Perfect timing, chat. Perfect timing. This is just a commercial. This is just a commercial. So let's now welcome the candidates to the stage, Vice President Kamala Harris and President Donald Trump. Millions of people pouring into our country from prisons and jails, from mental institutions and insane asylums, and they're coming in He's and they're taking jobs that are occupied jobs? right now by African Americans and Hispanics oh my and God. also unions. Unions are Dude, her smiling here is hilarious. And you see what's happening. You see what's happening with towns throughout the United States. You look at huh? Springfield, Ohio. You look at Aurora in Colorado. They are taking over the towns. They're taking over buildings. They're going in violently. Aurora? That's a slumlord, by the way. And Biden led into our country. That's a slumlord, not Venezuelan gangs. I want to turn to the issue of abortion. President Trump, you've often touted that you were able to kill Roe v. Wade. Last year, you said that you were proud to be the most pro-life president in American history. Then last month, you said that your administration would be great for women and their reproductive rights. Uh -huh. In your home state of Florida, you surprised many uh, with regard to your six-week abortion ban because you initially had said that it was too short. And you said, quote, I'm going to be voting that we need more than six weeks. But then the very next day, you reversed course and said you would vote to support the six-week ban. Vice <laughs> President Harris says that women shouldn't trust you on the issue of, of abortion because you've changed your position so many times. Therefore, why should they trust you? Well, the reason I'm doing that vote is because the plan is, as you know, the vote is they have abortion in the ninth month. They even have, and you can look at the governor of West Virginia, the previous governor of West Virginia, not the current governor, is doing an excellent job. But the governor before, he said the baby will be born and we will decide what to do with oh the baby. In other God. words, we'll execute the baby. More. And that's why I what did the that. Fuck? Because that predominates. Because they're radical. The Democrats are radical in that. And her vice presidential pick, which I think was a horrible pick, by the way, for our country, because he is Tim really Walls? out of it. But her vice presidential pick says abortion in the ninth month is absolutely fine. He also says execution after birth. It's execution, <laughs> no longer abortion, because the baby He's just is, lying. is okay. And that's not okay with me. Hence the vote. Yeah, but what I a freak. For she should say, Donald, you're a freak. Trying to get Roe v. <laughs> Wade into the states. And through the... Uh, genius she's and she's and gonna get to respond anyway so <laughs> of six Supreme Court justices we were able to do that now I believe in the exceptions for rape incest and life of the mother I believe strongly in it Ronald Reagan did also 85 percent of Republicans do exceptions very important there is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born Madam thank Vice you for President, fact checking your response to president trump if donald trump were to be reelected, he will sign a national abortion ban understand in his project 2025 there would be a national abortion a monitor that would be monitoring your pregnancies your miscarriages i think the american people believe that certain freedoms in particular, the freedom to make decisions about one's own body should not be made by the government. Thank you, Facts. Vice President. Now Harris. she's taking back freedom, yeah, baby. Take back freedom. And I'm going to actually do something really unusual, and I'm going to invite you to attend one of Donald Trump's rallies because it's a really interesting thing to watch. You will see during the course of his rallies, he talks about fictional characters like <laughs> Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> we'll talk about windmills cause cancer. And what you will also notice is that people start <laughs> leaving his rallies early Ooh. out of exhaustion and boredom. And I will tell you, the one thing you will not hear him talk about is you. Ooh. You will not hear him talk about your needs, Get your fucked. dreams, and your needs. Dude, and she's your roasting him. And I'll tell you, I believe you deserve a president who actually puts you first. And I pledge to you that I will. Vice President Harris, thank you. President Trump, on that point, I want to get your response. Well, I would like to respond. Let me just ask, though, why did you try to kill that bill, and successfully so? That would have put thousands of additional agents and officers on the border. First, yeah. let me respond as to the please. rallies. She let me, let me respond to the rallies, to please. The rallies. There's no reason to go. And the people that do go, she's bussing them in and paying them to be there and then showing them in a different light. So she can't talk about that. People don't leave my rallies. We have the biggest rallies, the most incredible rallies. We have great rallies. Politics. That's because people want to take their country. She back. should finish every Our statement with, and your rallies are small. Every and time. Three and a half your rallies are ago. small. 
And what, what's going rallies, on bro. here, you're going to end up in World War III, just to go into another subject. What they have done to our country by allowing these millions and millions of people to come into our country. Literally and back on what's it. What's happening to the towns all over the United States. And a lot of towns don't want to talk. It's not going to be Aurora or Springfield. A lot of towns don't want to talk <laughs> about it because they're so embarrassed by it. In Springfield. Your rallies are small, by the way. They're eating the dogs. The people that. Oh, in, my fucking God. He they're brought eating, up the dogs? They're eating the pets. Oh my God! There. She's and fucking laughing at him. Oh as no! As far as the they're eating the pets. As far as the you fucking weirdo! What I say. They want to oh my God! They want to make America great again. It's a very simple phrase: make America great again. She's destroying this country, and if she becomes president, this country doesn't. Listen have to a the freak shit success. he says. Not only success, Donald, you're so weird. Say it. Say it. Steroids. I just want to clarify here. Say it. Springfield, uh, Ohio, cool. and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there had been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here. This is I've seen people, people on television. On television. Taken and Amazing. Food, so maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. I'm what? This from but the people are on taking television it from the saying their dog was eaten by... The people that went there. <laughs> the Springfield city manager says... The dog! No it was eaten! I'll let you respond to the rest of what you've heard. <laughs> you talk about extreme. Crime is down all over the world except here. Crime here is up and through the roof. Despite their fraudulent statements that they made. Fraudulent? Crime in this country is through the roof. It's really and not, actually. It's dropping. Crime. It's called migrant crime. And it's happening at levels that nobody thought possible. President Trump, as you know, the FBI says overall violent crime is actually coming down in this country. But by oh! They were defrauding statements. They, they this didn't is so good. The cities. They didn't include the, oh. the worst crime. It was a, a fraud, just like their number of 818,000 jobs that they said they created. Lovely. A fraud. President Trump, thank you. I'll let you respond, Vice President Harris. Well, I think this is so rich. <laughs> coming from someone who has been prosecuted Ooh! for national security crimes, Go. economic Ooh! crimes, election interference, Ooh! has been found liable for sexual assault. Ooh! His next big court appearance is in November at his own criminal sentencing. Every one of those cases was started by them against their political opponent. And I'm winning most of them, and I will win the rest on appeal. And you saw that with the decision that came down just recently from the Supreme Court. I'm winning the most Supreme of them. The Supreme Court that you placed? It's called weaponization. Never happened in this country. They weaponized the Justice Department. Every one of those cases was involved with the DOJ, from Atlanta and Fawny Willis to, to the uh, Attorney General of New York and the DA in New York. Every one of those cases. And then they say, oh, he was, he's a criminal. I probably took a bullet to the head because of the things that they say about me. They talk about- You didn't take a bullet to the head, but to it democracy. would have been dope. They're the threat to democracy. Yeah, he we literally Russia, can't handle Russia, it. Russia, Russia investigation we do have a lot that to get, went nowhere. We have a lot to get to, Lindsay. In Minnesota, she went out, wait a minute, I'm talking now, if you don't mind, please. Does that sound familiar? She went out. Don't lie. She went out and to get her out of jail. She did things that nobody would ever think of. Now she wants to do transgender operations on illegal aliens that are in prison. Transgender operations on illegal aliens in prison? That would do this. What? Mr. President, for three and a half years after uh, you lost the 2020 election, you after you lost, falsely claimed that you won, many times saying you won in a landslide. Oh. In the past couple of weeks leading up to this debate, Love it. Uh, you have said, quote, you lost by a whisker, that you, quote, didn't quite make it, that you came up a little bit short. I are said you, that. Are you now acknowledging that you lost in 2020? No, I don't acknowledge that at all. But I you said did. that sarcastically. <laughs> you, know that. And you said, oh, we lost by a whisker. That was said sarcastically. Oh, but my God. So much I do not acknowledge that I lost. And they should have sent it back to the legislatures. For oh, approval. my God. 75 million votes. The most votes any sitting president has ever Biden got. Biden got 80 million. Got 63, which was what I got or 82? in 2016. Donald Trump was fired by 81 million people. Ooh. 
Ooh. clear about that, and clearly he is having a very Fired. difficult time processing that. Ooh. But we cannot afford to have a president of the United <laughs> States who <laughs> attempts, as he did in the He's past, dying. to upend the will of the voters in a free and fair election. Victor Orban, one of the most respected men. They call him a strong man. He's a, he's a tough person, smart, prime minister of Hungary. Uh -huh. They said, why is the whole world blowing up? Three years ago, it wasn't. Why is it blowing up? He said, because you need Trump back as president. They were afraid of him. China was afraid. Yeah. And I don't like to use the word afraid, but I'm just quoting him. China was afraid of him. North Korea was afraid of him. <laughs> Trump, Orban I'm endorsed by Hungary. Said it. He Great. said the most respected, most feared person is Donald Trump. We had no problems mm -hmm. when Trump was president. But when this weak, Victor Orban is a fascist man <laughs> that you saw at a debate just a few months ago, 168 different countries sending people into our country. Their crime weights are way down. Crime weights. Their her, crime actually. weights are way down. So I hope she, win. she is crushing him. I'm impressed and actually hopeful. I mean, I've been hopeful the whole time, but she's better than Obama was even. You think so? I, I mean, I think so. Well, first of all, it's important to remind the former president, you're not running against Joe Biden, you're running against me. Uh! Uh! I believe the reason that Donald Trump... Why does she keep destroying him? ...within 24 hours is because he would just give it up. <laughs> and that's not who we are as Americans. Let's understand what happened here. Putin would be sitting in Kiev with his eyes on the rest of Europe, starting with Poland. And why don't you tell the 800,000 Polish Americans right here in Pennsylvania how quickly you would give up for the sake of favor mm -hmm. and what you think is a friendship yep. with what is known to be a dictator who would eat you for lunch. <laughs> he negotiated directly with a terrorist organization called the Taliban. <laughs> the negotiation involved the Taliban getting 5,000 terrorists, Taliban terrorists released. And get this, no, get this. And the president at the time invited the Taliban to Camp David. Oh my a place God. of storied significance for us as Americans. A place where we he invited honor the Taliban the to Camp of David. Diplomacy, where we invite and receive respected world leaders, and this former president. <laughs> this to former Camp president David because he does not again appreciate the role and responsibility Jesus. of the President of the United States. If you take a look at that period of time, the Taliban was killing our soldiers, mm -hmm. a lot of them, with snipers. And I got involved with the Taliban. And in my opinion, the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country. Confused. And by the way, that's why Russia attacked Ukraine, because they saw how incompetent she and her boss are. Huh? President Trump, thank you. I want to move on now to race and politics in this country. Mr. President, you recently said of Vice President Harris, quote, I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago <laughs> when she happened to uh -oh. turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. Uh -oh. I want to ask a bigger picture question here tonight. Why do you believe it's appropriate to weigh in on the racial identity of your opponent? I don't, and I don't care. I don't care what she is. I don't, I don't care. care? Whatever she wants to be is okay with me. But those were your words, so I'm I asking. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, all I can say is I oh read it where God. she was... Not black. Oh, he's doing it! He can't help it! And then I read... Why can't he help it? Okay. Either one was okay with me. That's up to her. That's Vice up to her. Vice President Harris, your thoughts on this? I think it's... I mean, honestly, I think it's a, a, a tragedy that we have um, someone who wants to be president who has consistently, over the course of his career... Attempted to use race to divide the American people. Fucking true. You know, I do believe that the vast majority of us know that we have so much more in common than what separates us. And we don't want this kind of approach that is just constantly trying to divide us, and especially by race. And let's remember how Donald Trump started. He was a, 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 a land. He had owned land. He owned buildings. And he, he was investigated because he refused to rent property to black families. Let's remember, this is the same individual <laughs> who took out a full page ad in the New York Times. Did she pull back on calling him a slumlord? Of five young 
black and Latino boys who were innocent, the Central Park Five, took out a full page ad calling for their execution. This is the same individual who spread birther lies about the first black president of the United States. Yeah, man. And I think the American people want better than that, <laughs> want better than this. Vice President Harris, thank you. Lindsay? President Trump, this is now your third time. This is the most divisive presidency in the history of our country. There's never been anything like it. They're destroying our country. What? And they come up with things like what she just said. What? Going back many, many years, when a lot of people, including Mayor Bloomberg, agreed with me on the Central Park Five, they admitted, they said, they pled guilty. And I said, well, if they pled guilty, they badly hurt a person, killed a person, ultimately. What the fuck? And if they pled guilty, then they pled, we're not guilty. But You're still litigating the Central Park Five who have been exonerated? Years, 40, 50 Are you years fucking ago. kidding me? You now say you're going to keep Obamacare, quote, unless we can do something much better. Correct. Last month, you said we were working on it. So tonight, nine years after you first started running, do you have a plan? And can you tell us what it is? Obamacare do was you have lousy health care. Always was. Okay. It's not very good today. And what I said, that if we come up with something, and we are working on things, we're going to do it, and we're going to replace it. But remember this. But you don't have anything? I inherited Obamacare. So you don't have anything? Democrats wouldn't change so you don't have it. a they plan? Vote for it. They were unanimous. They Nine fucking years of this guy. It. If they would have done that, I'm ready. Let's move the fuck on. Plan than Obamacare. But Name one Democrats thing about your plan. They wouldn't vote for it. I had a choice to make Name a thing. president. But until then, I'd run it as good as it can be run. So just a yes or no, you still do not have a plan. I have concepts of a plan. <laughs> I have, I have concepts of a plan? Oh my god, clip it. I have concepts of a plan. Clip it. He's cooked. It's fucking done. Weird how the hack moderators at ABC News are only now fact checking Trump to allowing Kamala to lie nonstop. Fake news is the enemy of the people. These debate questions and moderation is breathtaking. Holy shit, I'm not being hyperbolic. This is incredible. Absolutely outraged. Rubble, I'm getting a roasted Donald Trump. Thank you. Megan Kelly, these moderators are a disgraceful failure. This is one of the most biased, unfair debates I have ever seen. <laughs> Shame on you. Dude, ABC's moderators are disgraceful. Dude, they are coping. They're going to try to play this off as moderators while normal American people are like, yep. So I think you've heard tonight two very different visions for our country. Yeah. One that is focused on the future and the other that is focused on the past and an attempt to take us backward. But we're not going back. <laughs> and I do believe that the American people know we Hammering all have the slogan. so much more in common than what separates us. We're a failing nation. Uh -huh. We're a nation that's in serious decline. They call me. We're laughed at all over the world. They don't understand what happened to us as a nation. We're not a leader. We don't have any idea what's going on. What these people huh. have done to our country, and maybe toughest of all, is allowing millions of people to come into our country many of them are criminals and they're destroying our country the worst president the worst vice president in the history of our country president trump thank you and that is our abc news presidential debate from <laughs> here in philadelphia at the national constitution okay. center i think that that went well he walked right off by the way he's not shaking her hand he walked off and got all petty oh doug came out they said hello. We're all nice. Donald walked back into the dark alone. <laughs> this election couldn't be more clear. Uh, you vote for Kamala Harris. I'm voting for Kamala Harris. <laughs> this just do it. This is this is an easy win. Let's just lock this up. Take this fucking election. Let's smash this fucker into the ground. Okay. Let's, let's make them lose a couple states they thought the Republicans were never going to lose. Let's take Texas or some shit. Let's get weird and just fucking smash this guy. Ruin his dignity. Ruin any, any sort of fucking, like, ego he has left and throw him into the fucking shadow realm where he belongs. He's going to be able to get, you know, felony prosecutions. Let it fucking happen. All we got to do is vote for Kamala Harris. Easy. This is the easiest fucking W we've ever held. Handing Donald Trump... His fattest L in his life? For real? Oh my god. Harris might get Florida. Look, not for nothing. Some of the some of the polling out of Florida does look pretty uh I mean still leaning Trump when I've what I've seen, but like, I mean 
It could happen, dude. This could be crazy. Voting blue in a red state is such a fucking chore, but here we go. If you're in a red state, I I beg you to vote. Please go vote. They're only red states because they have talked you into the idea that you don't have the power that you do have, okay? They're scared of your vote, which is why they try to suppress it so much. If they didn't if they weren't scared of your vote, they would never go after your right to do so. They would never worry about it. It's one of our institutional levers of power that we actually do have. It's not efficient. It's not even it doesn't even feel that good necessarily, but go fucking vote, okay? This is this is going to be fucking beautiful. Also, not for nothing. If you've never voted, if this is your first election, you can make sure that you are uh, registered to vote. Uh, if this is your first election, I'm surprised that you're here. It's probably like your third or fourth election minimum if you're here. Is anybody voting for the first time in my chat? Or any of you like fucking 23 or younger? Popo Chiva head pats is? All right. You are? I mean, you might not just necessarily be 18. You might have just abstained prior. This is beautiful. First election where I'm actually voting right. Go vote. Vote in your down ballot. Learn who's on. You can you can Google it right now. You can look up your your ballot for whatever wherever it is. You can find your polling location. It's very easy. Uh, I just had to in my state, Michigan. I just had to take my ID in. I mean, I don't even have to have my ID, but I take it in. It's much faster. Otherwise, it's same day registration. Go vote. This is the first time I'm voting for someone other than Vermin Supreme. Good. It's a waste. Vote for vote for people like Vermin Supreme in your local elections. That's totally vi- viable. They will not win on the national stage until we get institutional power. And the only way to get institutional power is to put them into the institutions that they can actually win. Like, if you vote for Jill Stein, you're, you're, you're a, a bozo. You're a bozo if you vote for Jill Stein. That's just straight up crazy. Uh, well, get your registration sorted right now, Unicorn Farts. Get it sort- sorted. You got plenty of time. It's really easy. You just sign up. It's easier than signing up for a fucking JCPenney's card or whatever. Easier than signing up for Cole's cash. Still voting Bernie? Don't do it! Jill, Russia was reasonable Stein. I know, right? Jill Stein is a Russian plant. It's just It just tries to funnel shit away. It, they don't run real campaigns. They don't run real anything. It's just... It's just like... I don't know. It's The Green Party is phony. There's a reason you've never heard of anyone in your local elections running green. It's because it's astroturfed. It's not real. There's no one with any power anywhere. That is a Green Party because it's not a real party. Vote for your socialists. Vote for your labor people. Vote for, you know, actually good candidates.